Hi everybody, I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Cavlin here with an update on a few systems that we are watching in the tropics right now. First, we're going to start closest to home. Uh, this batch of thunderstorms and rain that's been bringing us the unsettled weather here the last few days uh, has actually just been tagged today by the National Hurricane Center for some potential development. It's a very low chance over the next seven days. And notice there's not a lot of real estate for this blob to work with in terms of developing. So I think the chances are very low if something can get going. It probably won't be stronger than a tropical depression uh, just because we're not expecting it to move out into the Gulf and loop back. It's going to stay pretty close to the coast here. So again, not a lot of real estate for it to do anything uh, significant over the next few days. Out in the Atlantic, though, it is a different story. We we're watching not one, but two areas uh, here across the tropics. Uh, we're just going to ignore this one for now because that is so far out and the odds are so low for developing. This is the one that is really going to have our attention as we get into the uh, upcoming week. So this weekend, we're fine. But once we get into next week, we're going to have to start uh, to keep a, a very close eye on this. And the reason is, is because the Hurricane Center takes this blob, which is right now just a disorganized batch of thunderstorms in the middle of the Atlantic eventually through the Antilles and into the Caribbean. And this time of year, anytime we see something move into the Caribbean, it automatically uh, catches our eye, catches our attention, because if it can develop there and lift north, then it moves into the Gulf, potentially as a storm. So the development odds today went into the moderate category, 40% over the next seven days. So we still have a long time to watch this system, but it will be something to watch once we get into next week. Let's talk about the system a little closer to home first. Again, 20% probability of something developing over the next seven days. The odds are very low, but the swirl is there and you can see it on future track as we get into tomorrow. Here's the good news for tomorrow. It looks like our rain chances actually take a bit of a break and we could even see some sunshine across the area as the center of that swirl and all of that moisture moves off towards the east to the right hand side of the screen. So we'll catch a break. Still a couple showers in play for us here in Southeast Texas, but I think the rain chances go a little bit lower. As we get into Sunday, follow that swirl. It starts to take a jog a little bit back towards the west again. So I think the rain chances nudge back into the 50-50 category. And then watch this. Watch what the model does here. It actually takes that swirl all the way to the south down towards Corpus Christi. And it tries to close off an actual area, an organized area of low pressure. A little ahead of schedule within that seven day uh, time uh, range that the Hurricane Center put on this. But hey, it's worth watching. The good news, though, is that if that were to happen, it does start to pull away from our area. Bad news, it's still close enough that it keeps things unsettled for us, at least into the start of next week. Let's talk about this area now. Again, this wave just off the west coast of Africa, very low chance of developing over the next seven days. This is the one that's now in the moderate category for development. Follow it here on Future Track. We'll stop the clock next Tuesday. So this is after Labor Day, September 3rd. You can see nothing closed off, just a big blob of thunderstorms, but still worth watching. A lot of open real estate to work with here through the Caribbean. By the end of next week, so we're now looking six days into the future. This is next Thursday, September 5th. And you get the sense that we are starting to see some better organization here. The model really goes to town with this as we get towards next weekend. So you got to understand we're looking eight days out into the future. There's a lot of variables at play and a lot of things can happen, but this is a strong signal from this model that this wave could develop if the conditions are right looking eight days down the road. So the time frame for any impacts in the United States, if this develops and if it moves into the Gulf and close enough to the US, would probably be sometime after September 10th. So we're looking way down the road here. There's still a lot of time to work out the details, but just keep in mind that this is something that we are watching and something that we will be paying attention to and that you're going to be hearing a lot more about once we get into next week. Uh, so here's the bottom line. The area in the Gulf will just keep our rain chances elevated through the weekend and into the start of next week. It's the system in the Atlantic that we'll really need to watch here. Uh, and there's no risk to the United States for at least a week. And again, that is if anything forms. A good reminder, though, that we are getting very close to the peak of hurricane season, which is September 10th. Hopefully any systems that do form stay away from the U.S. But of course, as always, if you live near the Gulf, if you live near the tropics, if you live near the Atlantic, you got to stay uh, on your guard here as we go through the next few months.